How does the RF3 headset truly eliminate the radiation from getting to the user? That's one of the most popular questions we're asked here at TotallyCellPhones.com. How does the RF3 headset truly eliminate the radiation from getting to the user? Let me show you something. I've got two handsets here. One has a monopole antenna that you're probably familiar with. It's telescoping. And the other one has an embedded antenna, built-in antenna. Now both these antennas and handsets are designed as a radio to communicate with the cell tower. To maintain and complete calls, it's transmitting and speaking to that tower. Now these antennas conduct the RF electricity that leaves the phone and transmits it to the atmosphere. What I have here is a standard headset. It's a wired headset. It's an earbud that goes into your ear like this. And this 2.5 jack goes into the phone. Now this is metal. Just like the antenna, the transmitter will sometimes leak into the metal and the copper wire and travel up into your skull. And that's where the concern is from the SAR exposure with wired headsets. Now let me show you how the RF3 actually eliminates that. Now let me show you how the RF3 patented technology prevents the SAR from getting to the user. This is an earbud similar to the one that we just demonstrated. It simply goes in your ear, plugs into the phone. The radio frequency will still travel up the copper wire to the speaker box. This is where the EMF, the electromagnetic field, stops. This speaker box will transmit the sound up this non-conductive hollow tube, delivering the sound and preventing all the SAR. There are two different types of RF3 headsets, the earbud and the ear hook. Both are effective at stopping the SAR from getting to the user. This one goes into your ear. It's called an earbud. A lot of people like it because it stops the ambient noise from getting through. It's easier to put it in your pocket. Now the hook style is that, simply a hook that goes over the ear. It telescopes up and down to fit any sized ear. A lot of people prefer the hook because once it's in, it adds a bit of stability in case the cord is pulled on. It's a personal preference the hook versus the bud. The RF3 earbud and ear hook are equally effective at preventing the SAR from getting to the user. It's all in the patented technology of the air tube. The air tube is hollow, delivers the sound, but no EMF. For more information about cell phones and other wireless accessories, visit the Cell Phone Guru Man at www.cellphoneguruman.com. This message is sponsored by TotallyCellPhones.com.